Cleopatra's Needle in New York, Ancient Egyptian Obelisk Moved There by Masons, Manitoba Legislative Building, Geographic Center of North America, Esoteric Masonic Architecture and Symbology. Define a line exactly through those two locations. Next we define a second line in the same way, this time going exactly through the Hollywood sign and exactly through Guantanamo Bay. There's a flagpole, a prominent flagpole in the bay and it's, this line goes is defined through that flagpole. These meet in a place that can be considered a pole, so they're like meridians, like the normal ones on the earth, portions of great circles. So if you start with primary axis, going from Cleopatra's Needle to Manitoba Legislative Building, and then you lay out lines at 15 degree increments. So out of 360 degrees in the circle at 15 degrees each, there'd be 24, uh, sort of like hours in the day. So at this 15 degree increment, we have Mount McKinley, the tallest peak in North America, one of the most prominent in the world. The next 15 degree increment brings us around the world to Australia and it goes right through Sydney. It continues on to Redfern Park where there's uh, goes directly through this fountain. Take note of the symbolism with the caduceus at the bottom and the four lion's heads, like the Flaminio obelisk. Of course, there's much more in there. It also comes very close to the Hyde Park obelisk, which is a copy of Cleopatra's Needle that sits in London, just outside of the city of London. And it also passes very close to the Lynn chocolate crisis that is going on right now, December 15th, 2014.